Here's a quick video on how to make an avatar for yourself that's sort of cartoonized. Especially good if you don't want to have an avatar that will look exactly like you, but still represents you. I've gone to Pamela's site at uh, PamelaBaudet.com and I'm on her about page and I'm going to use her picture in order to generate an avatar for Pamela. To do that, I'm going to capture her image using Jing. Jing's a free tool that you can install on your computer and it allows you to capture images of any part of the page that you happen to be visiting. I've captured a little bit more than the original image here as you can see. I've gone lower down here to include some of the text and I'm pressing the capture image button. I now have the capture and I'm going to save it to my computer somewhere and then I'm able to use that image to make a cartoon. To do that, I'm going to visit Be Funky. Click on the Get Started button and then upload the photo from my PC. There it is. And then I select the cartoonizer. Now, they have some free effects and some slightly better ones um, at premium level. If I'm just sticking to the free effects, I'm going to click on uh, this one. And I've generated a cartoon. And then I'm allowed to save that, clicking on the save button. And it's saving it to my original folder. I click on OK. Next, I open up Photoshop or your favourite imaging program. I go off and find the image that I just downloaded and bring it into Photoshop where I can crop out the section of the image that I want to use. So, as I want a 100 by 100 pixel avatar, I set up my crop tool to do that. And I crop out that section. Now I can then maybe make it into black and white and then adjust the brightness and the contrast to create my cartoon.